The DevExpress ribbon control for WPF features built-in support for ribbon merging. In this video, we'll explore how ribbon merging cuts down UI clutter and redundancy in a multiple document application. So let's get started. From Visual Studio, select a new DevExpress WPF project wizard. Our project will depend on the docking and layout, as well as the ribbon and toolbar system component categories. In the theme category, select the DX ribbon window and select Create Project to generate a new project. Now we're dropped into the layout. Our ribbon control is docked at the top of the window, and the remainder of the form is split into panel regions. Notice the two panes of the document group are displayed as tabs for documents 1 and 2. We'll alter the UI style of the document group to floating panels with the multiple document interface style. In the XAML editor, under the document group's open tag, set MDI style to MDI. The designer updates with separate MDI controls for each document. Now we'll assign a ribbon control for the document group and add a ribbon control onto the document one window. Next, add ribbon pages and bar items. Here the document ribbon control contains home and media pages while the original main ribbon control contains its own home and send to pages. By default, when a document is maximized, ribbon merging integrates both ribbon controls into the main ribbon. This means the parent ribbon control will contain the pages, page groups, and commands of all child ribbons. Pages with captions shared across multiple ribbons are merged into a single page on the main ribbon control. The same applies for category and group merging within a page. Let's run the application to see the results. Here you can maximize a document window to get a sense for ribbon merging. Notice the merged ribbon control has three pages. The home page is a combination of the parent and child home groups, while the two pages unique to each ribbon are displayed unchanged. To undo the merge effect and drop into the original layout, simply click the Document Views Restore button. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.